Also right-click on Graphic Window and select Zoom. Now drag the left button of mouse and do that. Test it on Graphic Window more and more and check it out. Again right-click and select Zoom Window. You can write the negative or positive values. To jump from X value box to Y, press Tab button and keyboard. Do it and complete the job, and now move the mouse again. As you see the first point is created, and now, you can see the line preview, the line is moved free. Now click on ortho icon and then see the changes. As you see, line only moved horizontal and vertical, check it out more and more and test it. Okay, so good. Try to do it and complete the job. Grid shortcut is F7, ortho shortcut is F8, and snap shortcut is F9. Okay. Turn of the ortho and back to the graphic window. To complete the line creation there are two items. You can check it out in graphic window. Line length, and line angle, you can write this values on its boxes. Specify the line length value and then press the tab key, and jump to the angle box and complete it, OK. Now the line is completed. Delete this circle and the next command is circle tangent to three objects or tangent tangent tangent. It's enough to select this three objects to complete the job. Move the mouse and specify its angle to complete the arc, and next command is start, center, length. Start point of arc, next is center point of arc, and then move the mouse and specify the arc length. And next command is start, and, angle, first click is start point, second is end point. And now move the mouse and specify the arc angle, next is start, and, direction, start point, end point. And now move the mouse and define the arc direction. Now you can draw a rotated rectangle, here. Click on rotation and then move the mouse. Click, or specify the angle value and complete the rotated rectangle. And then use the close option, complete the spline and then click on it. You can see its control vertices. Drag and move the control points to edit the shape of spline. Test it more and more in graphic window. And check it out again and again, this is the start point of your line. Move the mouse, and end point is center of this circle. Move it here, and this green circle sign. Also you can write X in command line to run the extend command. Now see this several lines here. With trim and extend commands you can correct them so fast and carefully. Use the smart situation. Let's start. You can see this arrow sign, click on it and move the mouse, and you can change the column spacing, or distance between objects in X direction. Move the mouse again or write your desired distance value and do it carefully, complete the job and press enter to apply, again in X direction. Click on this other arrow blue sign, and then move the mouse, 
Move it to the right side or left side to increase or decrease the column count. Click on Modify icon and then, in Lines tab. You can edit this parameters and check its changes on this preview figure. Check the dimension and complete the process. And next is, freeze, or lock your desired layer. Check all layers and test the management options on your layers.